are at Advantech and I have Mr. Vishal, uh, Director of Advantech. Uh, we will run through alternate fuel systems. So we are talking about future mobility. So one thing is clear what the in, uh, nation is speaking about, electrification. In, the, in parallel, we have some alternative fuels and uh, hydrogen is one point or one word which the nation is also talking about. So Mr. Vishal, can you please explain about how Advantech is uh, favoring hydrogen for commercial vehicles and um, heavy loaded uh, applications? So if you see, uh, we have different type of alternative fuels available in the country today, starting from CNG, then electric mobility and then hydrogen is coming. So CNG and electric mobility are actually going very parallel. They both solve a problem for short distance travel, like city buses, auto rickshaws, uh, cars, or maybe two wheelers. Okay, and CNG does the same thing because you don't have a long range in CNG. You cannot travel outside station for long distances, 800 kilometer, 1000 kilometer. So, so both are actually in the same space. They have not resolved. Electric mobility is not really resolving a problem where CNG is not able to attacking. Okay, so now to address that issue, I think hydrogen is a boon. Okay, so hydrogen can take you long distance. It can go on heavy duty and it has a great benefit that it can go with a fuel cell or it can go with the IC engine both ways. Okay, so the immediate thing could be that use your existing IC engine technology and because you have uh, internal combustion engines produced by every OEM in the country, it's existing technology, just burn uh, the fuel as hydrogen instead of natural gas or diesel in the same engine with some modifications and we can offer technology migration from CNG to hydrogen, okay, because we know gas, we know pressure, so we can do that very well okay so you can have a uh, same engine same vehicle running on hydrogen and it can have uh, maybe a first baby step towards hydrogen uh, before the fuel cell becomes economical and adaptable um, so I think this is a great opportunity uh, definitely that's an interesting take which I hear from you so when you say that your experience from other gases and you go to hydrogen how is the production of hydrogen favoring us at the moment uh, for the industry so hydrogen can be produced out of water, of course, so, so the process is well established. Okay, we are talking about green hydrogen, so to produce hydrogen we have to use green energy and then we call it as a green hydrogen. So there are a lot of companies, private companies that can enter into a hydrogen production space, unlike CNG which is a fossil fuel, but though CNG is a great advantage, but then hydrogen can be locally produced. So if you want to produce hydrogen in Delhi, you can produce hydrogen in Delhi. If you want to produce in Assam, you can produce in there and a private company can produce it. Alright, so how is the transportation of hydrogen? When people talk about hydrogen, they almost connect it to a very wrong energy and we know how to use this energy positively and uh, hydrogen is, they connect it in a very different approach. How safe is uh, transport of hydrogen uh, and then how is it the automotive industry talking about safety with hydrogen? Short distance travel you can do on trucks. Okay, like we call it mobile pipelines. Long distance travel can be done even with a pipeline, uh, uh, physical pipeline. Like I, I saw news today morning, our Prime Minister said that they wish to export green hydrogen uh, to Europe and Saudi Arabia through a pipeline. So imagine if we are able to export green hydrogen, it will be a different uh, side of the game we're going to play. Okay, so, so transportation is, uh, is pretty simple, you know, it means of course that you need to invest into transportation right from scratch, okay, but uh, it's proven it's available. You can do it either by mobile pipeline, which means in the tanks on the truck, or you can do it by the physical pipeline. Perfect. So help us out on the way of injection pattern. We know when we use diesel, we have clogging of the injector nozzles. So do you think hydrogen will not have certain issues? How will the rust issues be taken care of? So I think the coating technologies are available to convert engine into a anti-corrosive nature and to address hydrogen. So that's not a very big deal. I think uh, that we have been doing in various industries. Okay, coming to the injection technology, if you use ICE means the internal combustion engines on hydrogen, you can actually tolerate some contamination of hydrogen which fuel cells cannot tolerate. So imagine if the country wants to produce hydrogen, but uh, somebody does not want to invest so much of money to make it a very, very clean hydrogen, I think they can just start doing it 
overheat and we can uh, burn it in the engine and uh, we can still uh, adapt to some contamination of hydrogen unlike fuel cells and maybe in the next step they can make it more cleaner okay and adapt it to the fuel cell because in a fuel cell you have two problems you want very very clean hydrogen and then you have expensive fuel cell technologies the fuel is expensive and the technology is expensive on the vehicle okay whereas in this the engine is already available on the vehicle and uh, the, uh, the the production of hydrogen could be very easy because you don't want such a clean hydrogen okay so we inject it in the vehicle uh, like gasoline okay or like CNG okay and then we combust it so the existing diesel engine can be converted into hydrogen by changing uh, the coating inside and by changing some uh, compression ratio and cylinder head make it a spark ignited engine and and that's possible what pressures does do, do they generally operate we know about uh, diesel 2000 to 2500 bar for the emissions here with hydrogen there's no emissions do you think five bar six bar wow that's very very low pro so gentlemen we are talking about diesel which we are talking about 2500 bar coming down to five bar with hydrogen and that's the pure green energy which we are talking about and mr vishal gives us an insight that all the two wheelers and the three wheelers they can still stay with the electrification and of course the four wheelers but the commercial vehicles and the heavy loaded trucks they still indeed uh, look at hydrogen which is more energy density and can be easily produced and also from the environment perspective that's the best way to go out uh, would you want to add some more insights on the product development from Advantech? Yeah, so Advantech is bringing a unique advantage to the industry because we are Indian. Uh, so we have collaborators. We bring technologies which are available in Europe and US which are proven. But we understand you cannot use them in India. In India, the nature of vehicles are very different. When we call it heavy duty, we are not having 12 liter engines. We have 5 and 6 liter engines. Okay, so, so the nature of product is to be different. So we integrate them with unique technologies which are local. Uh, we convert them to the environment that we have in India. India, which is uh, not so organized uh, and uh, we have problem of serviceability etc so we tackle that okay so we are offering a complete range of product right from uh, injector up to the tank okay so we don't want to depend on somebody uh, who's gonna slow down our industry okay so we want we don't want excuses so we offer a complete turnkey solution Oh, perfect. On the roadmap, uh, when do you think the first production would uh, look from the Indian perspective? We, we are already doing hydrogen projects and uh, I think we have some uh, products are on display in the vehicle expo with the hydrogen IC engine. Okay, so, so it's already there. I think we are already on the road. Now we have to just run very fast. Okay, so I, I think uh, for the heavy duty point to point or the heavy duty with the close loop operation, hydrogen can come anytime. So you mean to say about I mean, 2025 we are there in production for hydrogen? Definitely. Definitely. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Vishal. That was a good quick talk from uh, Ganiki. Thank you for accommodating thank us. You. you have a lot of heavy schedules. Uh, good luck for Advantech and uh, we have a lot more uh, hydrogen-based energy on the road. Thank, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you.